In today's video, I am going to trace the most important curve that is y is equal to a cos of hyperbolic function of x by a. And using the procedure, first of all, I have to check the symmetry. The given equation remains unchanged if x is changed to minus x. If we place minus x in place of x, then also the equation will be same. So, the equation remains unchanged if x is changed to minus x because cos of hyperbolic function of x by a is an even function. Since it is an even function, there is no change in the equation if x is replaced by minus x. Therefore, we say that the curve is symmetric about y-axis. And further, cos of hyperbolic function of x by a is an always positive. And the next step here is the curve lies above the x-axis since cos of hyperbolic function of x by a is always positive. So, the curve lies above the x-axis. See here, coming to the symmetry, the equation remains unchanged if x is replaced by minus x because cos of hyperbolic function of x by a, as you know, it's an even function. Therefore, we say that the curve is symmetric about y-axis. And further, cos of hyperbolic function of x by a is always positive. Therefore, the curve lies above the x-axis. And coming to the origin, and here is the equation y is equal to a cos hyperbolic function of x by a. If we put x is equal to 0 here, if we keep x is equal to 0, and this will become cos 0. So, y is equal to a times of cos 0. And since cos 0 is equal to 1, since cos 0 value is 1, so we say that y is equal to a. If we put x is equal to 0, we got y is equal to 0. And 0 comma a is the point. And next, in the same equation, if we keep, in the same equation, if we keep or put y is equal to 0. So, if we keep y is equal to 0, here 0 is equal to a cos of hyperbolic function of x by a. And this is not possible since cos of hyperbolic function of uh, x by a, see, see here, this is x by a is always greater than or equal to 1. Since this value is always greater than or equal to 1, it doesn't equals to 0. Therefore, we have we got only a single point that is 0 comma a. So, this is a single point. And next, coming to the asymptotes, the given curve has no asymptotes since as x tends to plus or minus infinity, y also tends to plus or minus infinity and therefore, the curve doesn't have asymptotes. And coming to the region here, so y is given as a cos of hyperbolic function of x by a. If we make a derivative with respect to x, so a it's a constant here and for cos hyperbolic function of x by a, the derivative is sine hyperbolic function of x by a and again for x it is 1. So, we have to multiply with 1 by a. If I cancel this a for one time, then y dash will be sine hyperbolic function of x by a. Is it clear? So, if x is positive, then y dash is positive. If x is negative, then y dash is negative. Therefore, the curve is increasing in the first quadrant and decreasing in the second quadrant. So, coming to this point, if x is positive, then y dash is positive. And if x is negative, then y dash is negative. Therefore, the curve is increasing in the first quadrant. See here, the curve is increasing in the first quadrant and decreasing in the second quadrant and the next we have y dash is equal to see here just now have calculated the y dash value y dash is equal to sine hyperbolic of x by a if we keep the point 0 comma a in place of x if i put 0 here then y dash will become 0 if the derivative dy by dx which is nothing but the tangent is 0 at the point 0 comma a the tangent to the curve is parallel to x-axis. See here, it's very clear. Y dash is equal to the derivative dy by dx is nothing but the tangent of the curve. At this point, 0 comma a, if we keep x is equal to 0 here, y dash is equal to 0, which means that the tangent to the curve is parallel to x-axis. See here, it's parallel to x-axis. The above all details reveals that the shape of the curve is catenary. And, and let me show the shape here. And this is x-axis and this is y-axis. And this is nothing but the tangent. 
tangent to the curve which is parallel to x axis and this is the point 0 comma a which we got after keeping x is equal to 0 we got the point that is 0 comma a so this is the origin 0 comma 0 and this is the equation y is equal to c cos of hyperbolic function of x by a and this is most important curve this is how we have to explain when writing and uh, let me explain you about the symmetry as it is very clear that if we keep x is equal to in place of x if we keep minus x the equation doesn't change there is no change in the equation therefore as it is an even function so therefore we say that the curve is symmetric about y axis and further it is always positive therefore the curve lies above the x axis and the next one uh, coming to the origin if we keep x is equal to 0 we got y value as a and this is the point 0 comma a up shown how to plot this so this is 0 comma a have plotted here and the next one here if we put y is equal to 0 and this is not possible and there is only a single point that is 0 comma a which is to be plotted in the figure and the next one is asymptotes there are no asymptotes parallel to both x axis and y axis since as x tends to plus or minus infinity y also tends to plus or minus infinity and coming to the region here so we have to make a derivative so the derivative is nothing but the tangent so dy by dx is equal to sine hyperbolic function of x by a as it's very clear that if x is positive then y dash is positive if x is negative then y dash is negative therefore the curve is increasing in the first quadrant and decreasing in the second quadrant and we got y dash y dash is nothing but the tangent so this is the tangent to the curve so derivative is sine of hyperbolic function of x by a at this point 0 comma if you check if we keep x is equal to 0 we got y dash the derivative is equal to 0 so at the point 0 comma a the tangent to the curve is always parallel to x axis and keeping all these points in view so this is the tangent which is parallel to x axis and if we keep x is equal to 0 this is the value of y a and i've plotted here and this is the origin this is x axis and this is y axis and this shape of the figure is catenary and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end if you really like you know what to do please subscribe if you practice definitely you can solve by your own and if you really like please pass it on to your friends because they also need it this is the most important curve and thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't still